Hey everyone, today we're covering why women specifically need more zinc. A lot of the content out there talks about why men need zinc, but women need it just as much, if not possibly even more. It's very, very important. So today what we're going to cover is how zinc can affect the thyroid and ultimately affect your metabolism. Then we're gonna jump in and we're gonna start talking about how zinc plays a big role in terms of insulin, which has a tremendous part in PCOS, whether you have PCOS or not. Then we're gonna jump in and talk a little bit about pregnancy Pregnancy. Then we're going to talk about menstruation and cramping and how zinc plays a critical role there. Then of course, we'll jump in and talk a little bit, some bonus material surrounding the skin. And I'm also going to make sure that I pepper in specific kind of zinc rich foods that you can be eating. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave out the tangible stuff and the practical stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into it. But please do hit that red subscribe button and then hit that little bell icon. So first thing we have to talk about, the thyroid, so important, okay? The thyroid plays such a role in our overall metabolism, right? But all we ever think about is what is called our T4 and T3 levels. When we go to the doctor, they just check those levels. Well, T4 and T3 is the amount of thyroid that's actually circulating. But what we forget is that that thyroid has to bind to something. It has to bind to a receptor. And that receptor requires zinc. Okay, there are zinc ions on that protein receptor. And if we're deficient in zinc, that receptor doesn't work. Well, what does that mean? That means that the thyroid that is circulating can't bind to the receptor, and therefore the receptor can't send a signal to the brain. What that means to you, especially as a female, is that the brain isn't able to determine how much thyroid is actually in the bloodstream. So if you're low on thyroid, it doesn't know to upregulate. And if you're high on thyroid, it doesn't know to downregulate because the receptor isn't communicating. Zinc is so important for our metabolism. And here's what's interesting, is zinc is required for almost all carbohydrate metabolism. So if your body isn't registering that you have enough thyroid, and then you eat a bunch of carbohydrates, well then, in theory, your brain wouldn't be able to upregulate the thyroid to process all of the carbohydrates. That could pose a very, very big problem for your metabolism. Additionally, the thyroid plays such a critical role in mobilizing fats. So if you're trying to get fatty acids into the bloodstream to burn some fat, well, you wanna make sure that thyroid's jacking up a little bit. Okay, now let's move into number two, which is going to be surrounding the world of insulin and PCOS. So this is important even if you don't have PCOS. However, it has been seen that PCOS is directly tied with insulin. High levels of insulin and insulin resistance are related to well, PCOS. So what it's been shown is that zinc plays a big role in lowering insulin levels. You see, zinc can mimic insulin. So when zinc binds to an insulin receptor, in essence, the body thinks that it is insulin. So therefore, the body doesn't produce as much insulin, which means that you're less likely to become insulin resistant. So here's an interesting study, and I'm just gonna abbreviate it to make it very simple. The study took a look at 52 women, divided them into two groups. One group had 50 milligrams of zinc supplementation, and the other group was a placebo. Well, they found that at the end of eight weeks, the group that took the zinc had a over 15 milligram per deciliter increase in serum zinc. Okay, that makes sense. They take a zinc supplement, it increases their zinc levels. But they found that it decreased their fasting glucose, it decreased their overall levels of insulin, and it increased their insulin sensitivity. All markers that are tied directly with PCOS. If we improve those markers, we improve PCOS symptoms. So there we have it, case in point fix the insulin issue, potentially fix the PCOS issue. Now, let's stop for just a second and talk foods, just because I'm going to move into the next one, which is very, very important, but I wanna give you a couple of foods that you can bring in to, to get some zinc. One of the things that I like, uh, shellfish, very, very good for zinc there, okay? We are gonna probably get the most potent amount of zinc in a natural food coming from shellfish. But additionally, beef is very, very good. But you can't just have those things laying around all the time. So I would usually recommend nuts and seeds. Those are gonna be some of the best sources of zinc that you can possibly get. And we'll talk a little bit more about specific ones in a minute. Let's go ahead and let's move into the next piece, which is pregnancy. Okay, whether you are looking to get pregnant or you are pregnant or not, it's still very important information to know. Zinc deficiencies have been directly correlated with low birth weights and even preterm labor. Okay, it has to do with kind of that placental absorption of zinc that is clearly required for immune system development and overall just development of a fetus. There was a study that was published in JAMA that found that just supplementing 25 milligrams per day of zinc led to a 126 gram birth weight increase, as well as an increase in almost a half a centimeter of head circumference. That's huge just by supplementing zinc compared to a placebo. Okay, now I know I'm not gonna dive into a lot of detail on that. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about some foods again. The seeds that I would usually recommend, pumpkin seeds are probably one of the best 
zinc-rich foods that women could be eating. So if you are suffering from insulin resistance or you're concerned with your thyroid, munching on pumpkin seeds and then sunflower seeds as a close second would definitely be ideal. I like to get like a sprouted mix of seeds because when they're sprouted, it means that you're able to absorb the nutrients better. The sprouting process with seeds and nuts makes it so that you don't have what are called anti-nutrients, making it so you don't absorb the nutrients. Okay, very, very important, so try to look for sprouted. Uh, I did go ahead and I compiled some grocery boxes through Thrive Market. If you've ever heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership-based grocery store. So I've been able to create uh, thyroid bundles, I've been able to create keto bundles, all like uh, grocery bundles, so things that I would get at the grocery store that I'm able to assemble into an online kind of grocery box so people that watch my videos can say, oh, what would Thomas want and what would Thomas get? And they can just go to the link below and check out sort of my grocery boxes and bundles from Thrive Market and then it just gets shipped to your doorstep. It's a way to save a trip to the grocery store and it's also a way to kind of trust my content. So big thank you to Thrive Market for making this possible and for extending the pricing out to everyone that watches these videos. It's super appreciated. Now let's move into the menstrual cramping piece. Time and time again, I talk to women, including my wife, that just get so tired of the bloating, the pain, the cramping. Okay, I don't feel it firsthand, but I feel it when I talk to women, okay? There has to be a solution. And if we understand what's happening with menstrual cramping and pain, we can sort of find a solution. It turns out that zinc plays a tremendous role in this, like a huge role. Okay, so here's what's up. We have prostaglandins, okay? These things are things that trigger inflammation. They're a natural response within the body. But when it comes down to menstrual cramping, there's a couple prostaglandins that stand out, but one in particular in this case. It's called PGE2 prostaglandin. Now this PGE2 prostaglandin uh, triggers the tightening and contraction of the uteral muscles, okay? So what happens then is it presses up against nerves, it squeezes nerves, okay? And you have, of course, cramping and pain. Well, it turns out that zinc blocks the production of this PGE2. It blocks the specific prostaglandin that triggers this contraction. Now, there's other factors at play that cause the cramping and, and all that stuff, but when you really target one of the big players here, that is tremendous. So we actually have the potential to add zinc into the mix and reduce some of the cramping. And it's been shown that chronic zinc deficiencies are related to bigger issues when it comes down to the menstrual cycle. So of course, we want to get that zinc in there. So 25 milligrams of zinc per day, or just, uh, you know, three, four, five tablespoons of pumpkin seeds or sprouted seeds per day could make all the difference in the world when it comes down to your menstrual cycle. And we wanna make sure that we're kind of eating those and getting a little bit more surrounding the menstrual cycle. Now the bonus piece that I wanted to talk about was going to be your skin, okay? This goes for men and women, but here's the thing. Zinc is related to cells that turn over fast. Okay, skin cells turn over fast. So if we're deficient in zinc, we are going to see it in our skin and our hair very quickly. So if you're having poor skin, if you feel like you're getting wrinkles, your skin's not recovering like it used to, there's a very good chance that it's a zinc issue. And one of the first things that you could do is correct that. And that could be a quicker way than spending hundreds of dollars on creams and things like that. Okay. Also, it helps repair the fibroblasts, which are a part of the collagen matrix that actually allows our skin to recover and rebuild. But additionally, you're getting rid of a lot of the oxidative damage. The point is, it's good for the skin. The overall though, the big point is that a lot of us are deficient in zinc and we're not paying attention to it. It's the forgotten mineral. So I highly recommend that you just consider getting those zinc rich foods in a sprouted form wherever you can. And also make sure you check out Thrive Market if you do wanna get a special discount on some of that stuff. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you in the next video.